Shalom and blessings. Today is a good day and we're so glad that you have come together to uh, learn and dwell into God's word this morning. We have been looking at the topic of faith, which is the very fiber of our Christian living. We've been looking at Hebrews 11, where we've looked into the faith journeys of very different men and women. Today, our focus is going to be on Noah, uh, who showed obedient faith. Hebrews 11 verse 7 By faith Noah, being divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear, prepared an ark for the saving of his household, by which he condemned the world, and became heir of the righteousness which is according to faith. The Genesis account of Noah shows uh, very impressive things about Noah. It shows that he was righteous, he was blameless, and he was one who walked with God. The story that lies behind uh, what we are intending to speak about shows of how God saw that the earth was so corrupt and he was saddened at the sin that was there. And he instructs Noah to build an ark so that he can protect Noah and keep his covenant with Noah. And we see the way that uh, Noah is obedient to God's call in building an ark. There are certain aspects of Noah's faith that we can learn from today. We first of all see that Noah feared and reverenced God. He stood in awe of him. He believed who God was. He believed God's greatness and God's faithfulness. And he saw God with that reverent fear that he quickly wanted to do what God had asked of him. The key ingredient here is that, you know, we, can, we cannot say that we fear and respect him, but not obey him. The second aspect that we learn uh, from Noah is that he responded in obedience to what God had instructed him, even though it was an event that probably never happened before and he never even imagined, he responded in obedience. Noah's faith also, he took God's word um, to heart and condemned the unfaithfulness of the world around. And we also see that Noah's obedient faith was rewarded by God. He became an heir of the righteousness which comes only by faith. So when we look at Noah, we, we understand that being uh, obedient is, uh, is a way that we can continue our faith journey uh, with God. So we need to persevere in obeying God, even when there is a resistance that we see, because in obedience lies God's pleasure. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for the faith journey that we learned about Noah. Teach us, as Noah did, to be obedient to your word, even when there are things that we don't understand or things that we don't see, because in it lies your pleasure and our reward. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.